Here's the field for the fourth race. These are conditioned claiming trotters racing one mile, a purse of $1,800. Field of nine, there are no changes. The one fish crown, owned by Allison Hensler of Walston. Joe Hensler, the trainer, Bob Harper driving. Number two, Tug Button, owned by Joan Mace of Washington Courthouse. Doug Mace, the uh, trainer, Jerry Roberts driving. Three, Speed Assault, sold by Michelle Irvin of Redondo Beach, California, Don Irvine Jr. is the trainer driver. Number four, Sonata Fish, shown by Jim Sproul, the third of Lexington. Tom Brinkerhoff trains for Jeff Thau. The five looks like Marge, owned by Joanna Beaver of Delaware. Chris Beaver trains and drives. Number six looks like Snow, owned by Ray Pritrine of Columbia Station. Jack Daly trains and drives. The seven oak lawn carrot, Joan trained and driven by Jeff Dennis of Wilmington. Number eight is Dolly Score. Laced by Robert Zink, Tommy Smith, the trainer. Eric Ludford, the driver. And the nine Grand Debonair, owned, trained, and driven by Jerry Grant of Pleasant Plain, Ohio. Win play show perfecta and a pick three wagering. Eight minutes until post time, eight minutes. Fourth race, conditioned to claiming trotters all in behind the gate. They're on the back stretch, and there they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Sonata Fish. First for the lead from between horses, far outside. There goes Grand Debonair. On the inside, and the third, Speed Assault. Inside is Tug Button as they fire in, into the first turn. Early five. Looks like Marge on the inside and six came Fish Crown. At the rail in seventh is Oak Lawn Carrot, another three lengths. Eighth, the Dolly Score in Ostrad, the trailer. As they reach the first quarter mile marker, looks like snow. First stop, quick, 28 and two. And Speed Assault has made the front here. Has a lead a length and a half over Tug Button. On the outside, Grand Debonair is looking for a seat. Sonata Fish on the inside goes off stride, and that will give Grand Debonair the break that she needs as she drops in now at the rail in third. Fish Crown then squeezes out there, racing fourth, and Oak Lawn Carrot takes the cover in fifth. Dolly scores, saving ground in sixth. Looks like Marge trots seventh. Sonata Fish uh, still off straight of the inside. The uh, trailer is, looks like snow. The half, 58 and four, and they continue to roll in the front with speed assault leading by a length. Here comes Tug Button out of the outside, and uh, Roberts takes this opportunity to make the move and going right on by Tug Button. Right by the leader. Speed is sought on the inside of second. Fish Crown now trots third, and still three wide is Oak Lawn Carrot. As they trot into the final turn, Tug Button has a lead by four. Here's the three quarters. Three quarters, 128 and two. And Tug Button leads by four on the outside. Oak Lawn Carrot Fish Crown is at the rail, and these two are closing quickly on the leader. As they swing to the top of the stretch, it's Tug Button, the lead now two and a half. On the outside, Oak Lawn Carrot Fish Crown is still there. Now less than a sixteenth to go, and Tug Button looking well in hand here. Tug Button coasting home. Oak Lawn Carrot will get up for second, and Fish Crown trots third. One fifty-eight and two. Tracks on in the winner's circle, winner of the fourth, number two, Tug Button, a four-year-old Ohio bred son of Lucky Elmerhurst from the Speed and Action Mare, Speedy Olympia. By Joan Mace of Washington Courthouse, Doug Mace, the trainer, Jerry Roberts in the Sonky. Tug Button recording his fourth win of the season. Very impressive mile tonight. Tonight's effort, 158 and two is a career best. 2-7 perfected, $20. 
Fourth race, order finish, Fish Crown 3, Tug Button the winner, Speed Assault 4, Sonata Fish 9, Looks Like Marge 7, Looks Like Snow 8, Oaklawn Carrot 2, Donnie Score 5, and Grand Debonair 6. 314, 978, 25, and 6. In the upcoming of fifth race, the three horse has.